I was uh, super disappointed when uh, Max got hurt. Holloway gets injured, so Frankie Edgar, he wanted to fight Brian Ortega. I got hurt the first time around. He gets hurt this time around. I was bummed for a couple days, but you know, you gotta put it behind you. I'm lucky that uh, I get to stay in the car and fight Brian Ortega. You know, I didn't want to wait. It's just I haven't fought since last May, and four weeks out, I don't, I don't want to have to, you know, not have that uh, that release. In other words, you know, when you when you get fight, you kind of have that that week after a fight is that that release. You know, you kind of get to chill and, and just relax and not think about fighting. But uh, I never got that, so I want to make sure I get it this time around. Ryan T. City Ortega, undefeated as an amateur, undefeated as a pro. I'm a big fan of this man's jujitsu game. He has one of the best guards in MMA today. I think Brian's a stud, you know, he's, he's the future of this division. Oh, big knee, huge knee by Ortega. Oh, and there's the tap. Brian T. City Ortega is still undefeated. He's dangerous. He's a long rangey guy. He's willing to sling him on his feet and he has a very, very slick jiu-jitsu game. Here is the proud New Jersey native Frankie Edgar. Edgar is a relentless man. And what makes this fight so interesting is this massive amount of championship experience he has. I mean, that's always my plan to go out there and dominate. Um, you know, if I'm able to do that against Ortega, I mean, that's just another notch in my cap showing that the, uh, the old guard's still here. You know, I see this fight with my hand getting raised. You know, it could touch everywhere. I mean, you know, that's the beauty of mixed martial arts. You know, we could end up on our feet the whole time. We could end up on the ground. And luckily, you know, I'm always prepared for, for whatever may come. That's it! Frankie Edgar gets the finish! That belt is still on my mind. You know, it's got to wait until after this weekend. But, you know, I'm not, I haven't lost sight of my goal of being a world champion. So I take care of business on Saturday. You know, I, I'm going to definitely be uh, gunning for that belt. I think I'm the best there is in this division. I just need my opportunity to show the world and, uh, and get that belt.